yesterday, Queen Elizabeth, who turns 96 on Thursday, did not attend, but... After two years of pandemic delays, Prince Harry is back. Bills to have his wife, Meghan Markle, by his side for the games, which he started in 2014 as a multi-sport event for wounded, injured, or sick armed services personnel. The couple's first Invictus Games were in Toronto in 2017, marking their first official public outing together. He explains that since the pair were dating at the time, it was a lot to take in, but fortunately, they were close.韩国疫情十四号单日确诊新增十二万五千多例，稍微减缓。政府十五号宣布，从十八号开始全面解封，社交规范取消，私人聚会、大型聚会都不再受到限制。Some measures have been in place since March 2020, but now people will be able to enjoy their enjoy their lives much like they did before the pandemic. The prime minister announced this morning that the ban on social gatherings of more than 10 people will be lifted, and businesses will be able to open for 24 hours starting next Monday, so people can gather with as many people as they want without curfews. Large events, including at places of worship and rallies, can now be held without limits on capacity. And from April 25th, people will also be able to enjoy movies and concerts indoors while having something to eat. 世界各国开始与病毒共存方式，或许能渐渐不受病毒威胁。在英国，因为新冠疫情已经有超过十七万人病逝。现在卫生部宣布，正准备进行辉瑞口服药的全国试验，未来能有效降低死亡率。另外，第六款疫苗也在英国授权使用。That's good news for countries where storage at very low temperatures is a challenge. In vaccines such as the one developed by Valneva. The virus is grown in a lab and then made completely inactive, so that it cannot infect cells or replicate in the body. But it can still trigger an immune response to the novel coronavirus. 由奥地利法国生技公司研发的灭活疫苗，储存温度介于摄氏两度到八度之间，相当于一般冰箱的温度，适用十八到五十岁的族群。目前，英国十二岁以上的人口已经有超过百分之九十二接种首剂疫苗，百分之八十六接种第二剂。现在，新疫苗再加入。